Narrabo, Narrabo, Narrabo Will. Who's he? No idea. I shall tell you who he is. It's one of those nasty little boatmen. It lives on a boat. How disgusting. It's turned out to be a beautiful day today. Just here in Denver, I'm going to get some water. Love it here. I love it. Just going to turn around. <sighs> beautiful. Here he is, Sid the Seal. There's around here somewhere. Ex SAS. No, ex Navy Seal, he said. That's what he told me. I reckon he's on benefits now. Mining around all day. Hello mate, how are you doing? There we are, just getting water. Wonderful facilities here, clean, tidy. The whole area is just clean and tidy, you know, you feel like it's in a really well managed place. Hats off to the people that uh, keep this place in this tidy condition, you know. Well done. People ask me, um, how do I manage financially um, faffing around like this and living on a boat? The, uh, my income is only from YouTube only and, and buy me coffees, so that's what I survive on. And some months are really good and some months are absolutely rubbish, you just got to tighten your belt. Uh, so yeah, I, just get, I get by, I don't need millions of pounds. Uh, I don't need to be a wealthy person, I'm, I feel wealthy with my lifestyle, you know, so I'm quite happy. Um, just pottering around and living life how it should be. I don't believe you should work till you're 70. It's too late then to do anything. This is uh, a very physical lifestyle. Uh, you're jumping, trying to sort knots out, you're jumping on off the boat constantly. It's really, got me really active. Um, so, yeah, I need, I need to be. Uh, I could be doing it when I'm 70, I think I'd be struggling doing this, you know. Uh, these big adventures and sorting out knots. Be hard work, Rippers. An hour later, we get going. <laughs> oh dear, hey, come on, let's crack on. I'm heading down to uh, Brandon now. This is the last um, stage of the whole network for me now, Brandon. And um, it, it's beautiful now, but it, it turns all of a sudden, bam, it turned absolutely freezing. So, uh, Slight, slight pause going to Brandon, and this is boat life for you. And there's no, you can't really plan anything. A lot could be closed, the water could be low, it could be too high, it could be flooded. Oh, there's so many variables about getting about on the boat. Pretty boat, isn't it? This day was one of those very rare moments on the Fenlands where there's no wind and it's sunny, it's completely still. A uh, old wooden boat, that looks like an old sea fishing boat, doesn't it, or something? Old trawler boat. Just gonna let you enjoy the cruise for a little bit.
Wissey. Hello Wissey. Beautiful river. There's some lovely moorings down there as well, but I'm heading to Brandon. At a cinema near you starting Sunday, Brandon. Oh. This is this has got a lot. This has gone all limp. That's over. I've already glued that one. And oh, this one's gone limp. I have to glue this one. Freaking useless. They're good at first, but they don't last very long, you know. Ooh. Oh, give up. That's my uh, that's my second uh, knobbly. I think there's a name for them. Knobbly type tripod. But they keep uh, keep going floppy, like you've just seen. <laughs> This is this is something you don't see every day. These uh, these oarsmen or scullers, if you want to call them. There's a proper name for it, but I don't know what it is. Somebody's told it's me, awesome. but I can't remember. On this um, sort of rowing boat. I suppose in their day they would have been used for um, lifeboats and stuff like that. You know, they did row out, wouldn't they? No no speed boats, no engines. seal trying to get out onto the uh, pontoon but he can't quite make it. Sid the seal, the locals call him. Oh, he's still there. Sometimes when you're uh, just leaning out, out the side hatch doors, he'll pop up and scare the living daylights out of you. Well, here we are down at Windmill Moorings. It's only a few miles down, but it's a lovely day. Oh, I'm getting 14 volts solar. As many amps as I can shake a stick at. And you've got the seals down here. Oh, it's amazing. The seals just gone to my boat. They come out at the back. They're amazing creatures. These people up there are watching the seal just here. Come, the grey seal comes up and it goes down, comes up. Beautiful looking face. They look very friendly, but they say they got a nasty, nasty bite to them if you get near them. People are watching it now. Fabulous day for a cruise. I've got the water hot. Now I'm going to do the washing and put the washing in the sunshine in the front. It's 
stay here for the night. I might walk back for the van. It's only about three miles. Oh, he's gone now. of light coming through there. Isn't that lovely? Oh, your boat's dead dusty. I know, but it makes nice shafts of light. <laughs> There's a seal out the back. Let's just see. I can't let him see me. Otherwise he'll run off. Can you see that? I can't see him. I can't see it. Is he there? Well, I've been here most of the day, done my washing. It's been a beautiful day. It's a lovely little mooring. I'm just going to go for a nice little walk just to get my blood going because I've been sitting down practicing the piano all afternoon to so get a bit stiff, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Little walkie poos. Look at that in the background, that lovely. Wow, amazing. Nice little walk down here. Oh, it's beautiful. Contemplate the world, you know. And how lucky I am. The last dregs of the sun set. Absolutely beautiful. You can feel lucky and appreciate everything, no matter where you are. It doesn't matter where you are. You could be in prison. You could appreciate the shaft of light that comes through the cell bars. It could be anything. Anything. The way your child looks at you, the way your child sleeps, the way your wife presents the food, or you've, the way the husband cooks. Could be anything. Just because, because, oh, look at him not on his canal, he's so happy. No, 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 no. Happiness doesn't come from the life, it comes from within yourself. From within, you know. Is him not philosopher? No. I'm silly ossifer. That's silly. That is gorgeous. Look at that. It's a barn owl. Beautiful. Disappearing behind the horizon there. Can you see that? Just disappearing. I can't hold it very still. Oh, just gone now behind that bush. Looks like it's just gone behind that bush. It really does. It's weird. Wow, that temperature dropped overnight. Just caught it just nice like cormorant. Just caught a fish. Absolutely freezing fog. So it's freezing out there. What temperature is it inside? Ooh. 18 degrees lot. 
inside. Right, kettle on. I'm not sure if these are working tractors. They look more like classic tractors to me. But I suppose that the uh, classic tractor guys out there will tell me. Don't use those uh, sort of tractors anymore, surely. Oh, crikey. Yeah, that's turned cold again, isn't it? Everything freezes. And it's like time stands still, doesn't it? All the ropes are frozen. You can't beat walking in it. First thing in the morning. Everything seems trapped in black and white, doesn't it? And frozen in time. I always think about how tough the plants and the animals are in these conditions to survive through this. There's a funny sound to everything, a nice calm sound, you know, like it's deadened or something. It's nice going for a walk, but it ain't half cold on the old uh, feet and hands. It's nice to get back to, uh, to a cup of tea and a nice warm fire. It's great getting these shots, but uh, it will. Don't forget your camera, mate. Oh, yeah, my camera. Let's go back for it. <laughs> this one. I've woken up from sleep. My partner's gone off. Now she's crying for him. Can you hear her? She's looking for him. They never make that noise. She's crying for him. Calling for her now, now they're going to meet. They're very close, aren't they? Swans. Let's get in that boat and get a nice cup of tea. Even the bike cover's frozen over lot. And the fire's still going. Oh, yeah, you can see it's uh, nice and warm. Well, outside is very, very foggy and frozen. I'm still getting 13.16 volts of power going into my batteries, so it's still charging in these conditions. Oh, I love it, it's beautiful. It's warm in here, they've got a nice. If you go out there, you absolutely freeze, your fingers freeze within minutes. It's beautiful. Wow. These guys stopped over and we had a, we had a good chin wag. Off he goes again. Just boiling a kettle to uh, try and thaw out that water pipe. Oh, it's low. I really love it. But it's absolutely frozen solid, so I need water. Well, next time, go near water and get it topped up before, you, before it freezes. <laughs> yeah. If you can find a tap that's not frozen. Right, let's go. Oh, emergency, emergency. Oh no, don't put this kettle down now. Damn.